Hello everybody, welcome back to Tunes Reviews. Today we are going to discuss five holy grail fragrances in my collection that I cannot live without. So it goes without saying that all of us aficionados, us experts in the fragrance game, um, we all carry a pretty tremendous collection for the most part, I would say. At least 50 bottles, I would guess, would be the average for any uh, particular fragrance reviewer at any given time. And there are reoccurring favorites that we all have, of course. Some of us lean more towards citrusy fragrances, aromatic fragrances, fougeres, uh, gourmand fragrances, you name it. For me, I'm someone that really loves those woody, spicy, oriental gourmand fragrances. Those are my favorite categories. Um, although I am currently leaning more toward some fougeres that I've gotten my hands on as of recent and I'm really, really enjoying. But all that to say that I have five fragrances here that have frequented my lists, my top 10 lists, my top 20 lists, um, bottles that I've purchased over and over again with me today in this beautiful park and I want to share them with you. Coming at number five is a fragrance that has been in my fall and winter rotation for years. It was deemed as my favorite fragrance for a very, very long time, probably three or four years, and one that I've gone through multiple bottles of, I would say probably four plus bottles, uh, both 50 ml and 100 ml bottles. And this is one that I just find tremendously cozy. It is the uh, probably deemed the king of tobaccos in the fragrance community, and that is none other than Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Tobacco Vanille is my favorite from the Private Blend line. It is sticky, it is gooey, it's kind of like s'mores with tobacco, and it's absolutely exquisite. I love this stuff, I have so many fond memories with this. Um, again, I've gone through so many bottles of this particular fragrance, and Tom Ford for me is a staple. I absolutely love the brand. Uh, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille has been a fragrance that I've used for nights like New Year's Eve, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and I've just built this really wonderful uh, circle of beautiful memories around this fragrance, and I absolutely love this stuff. I highly recommend checking it out if you have not. Tobacco Vinny by Tom Ford. Number four is from the House of Guerlain, which is a very near and dear house for me. It is probably my second favorite designer house, and the art and materials line is probably my second favorite line. So you could choose pretty much any fragrance from that line and make me happy. Things like Cure Beluga, uh, Tonka Imperial, which did not make this list but would if it was a top 10 or top 20, and Spiritus Double Avenue, which is one of my favorite vanilla fragrances of all time. But this one here, had really helped me make it through my worst spell of depression and anxiety of my entire life. Um, I find this fragrance to be very cozy, very quote unquote un at home. At home is how I feel about this fragrance. It makes me feel like I'm in my sanctuary, in my safe space. Um, it really reminds me of some of the things that I love outside of fragrance, like Borderlands, uh, Borderlands 2, the video games, uh, The Last of Us video game. Um, I played those games while wearing this in the comfort of my home and it just reminds me of that sense of being at peace. So this is Guerlain's Angelique Noir and this is a very beautiful vanilla Angelica uh, concoction and it's just so different. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think that if you're a male and you're afraid of floral gourmands, you should definitely start here because this will ease your way into that category. And it's just so smooth and so refined and so sexy. I absolutely love this. This is now my third bottle of Angelique Noir and I have two backups. <laughs> Especially when this whole scare happened with Guerlain rebranding and potentially discontinuing some, I grabbed a couple bottles. So here we are, Angelique Noir. This is a very near and dear fragrance for me and definitely a holy grail fragrance and I will certainly continue to pick this up as long as it's in production. Number four. Number three comes from the house of Frederick Mall. Frederick Mall is another one of those houses that I've loved for years. Uh, Bigarod Concentré, um, Angelique Sous Le Pluie. Um, there's just so many wonderful fragrances from the house you could probably imagine. I've mentioned this fragrance quite a, quite a few times in the last year that it could potentially be a signature scent of mine. It definitely is at this point. Um, this is now my second bottle of 
Musk Ravageur by Frederick Mall. It is absolutely delicious. It is the vanilla Cinnabon musk fragrance of the game. It's very sophisticated. It's very grown up in a way, but it's also very playful and kind of tempts you and wants, you know, does the whole finger, the whole finger thing, the, the come here, you know, come in, lean closer and, and smell. Uh, I feel like this is one of the most beautiful and seductive fragrances I've ever tried, and I absolutely love this for a night out. So Musk Ravageur will definitely continue to be a staple for me for years to come. I think that if you're in your upper 20s and above, uh, this is easily something you can pull off, whether you're a male or female or someone that considers themselves to be uh, genderless. So check this out if you love those kinds of sticky gourmand fragrances, but you want it to be kind of mellowed out by um, animalic musk. This is such a good uh, choice, and I think that it is wonderful for nighttime. My second choice here inadvertently became one of my signature scents um, over the last, I would say, four years, three years. Um, I've gone through several bottles. This is now going to be my third bottle, and it is a fragrance that I think really resonates with who I am and my personality, and there's just so many wonderful fond memories that I have that revolve around this fragrance. Um, for example, the big one is that I completed my first film with my, my very good friend Benjamin that I've mentioned several times now that has passed away. So this fragrance to me is very much me finding myself and finding newfound friendships in college and just going out and embarking on this journey of accomplishment and making things happen. And so this, this is definitely always going to resonate with me and I'm always going to need a bottle. This is Nasomato Baronda. And Nasomato Baronda is whiskey and oak and spice, and it is absolutely delicious. Every time I wear this, I get compliments on it. My fiance absolutely loves this on me, and I highly recommend this for anyone that loves those woody type fragrances with a little bit of spice. Absolutely gorgeous. It brings me back to uh, shooting our film Dark Chamber every time I wear it. I wore this a lot for when we filmed our first movie and it just has so many beloved memories attached and I'm going to continue to absolutely enjoy and love this for years to come. So number two is Baronda by Nasumato. My number one choice here, I think a lot of you could probably have guessed it. Um, it's been my number one for years, probably I guess seven or eight at this point. And it just, I've never smelled anything that I've loved so much that I had worn for so many years and gone through so many bottles of and feel like it just encompasses my personality traits and I feel like this is everything I've ever wanted in a fragrance. It's warm, it's spicy, it's woody, it's sophisticated, it's elegant, it's sexy, it's inviting and yeah, if I could just go on and on, <laughs> I could all day for this particular fragrance, Creed Royal Oud. I love this. This has got to be probably my sixth seventh bottle of this and now I wear this for special occasions only um, this will be my wedding day scent and uh, for when I go to sign my big fat first contract for a feature film that actually gets produced I'll be wearing this um, I do wear it sparingly at this point because I want it to kind of represent those really really important moments in my life and it's always going to be a staple it may not be necessarily my signature scent for my everyday use but it is my signature scent for all the moments that really count. So that is Royal Oud by Creed. I absolutely love it. I think that if you haven't tried it, you absolutely should. It is so sexy, so refined, so good. Well, I want to thank you all for being here with me again for another video, and I hope you all enjoyed. It's beautiful out. I hope you're all enjoying life and you're staying safe and happy and healthy out there. I will talk to you all soon. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.